right, so I want you all to imagine that you and two of your best friends are going to go to the farm, the Pocomoke Ranch, that is, and spend the night for three nights in a row. Now, a lot of you would be like, oh my gosh, that kind of sounds wonderful during the daytime, but at nighttime, when that sun sets and that feeling comes around you, you know you're not alone. And I'm not talking about your best friends. So in this video that you're about to watch, me, Dylan, and Chris, we all attempted to stay the night for 72 hours straight. So three nights in a row, we tried to stay there. And this went terribly, terribly, terribly wrong. I'm not gonna spoil anything for you. Watch the entire duration of this video. Even daytime paranormal activity is happening and ramping up at the farm. So let's go ahead, roll that footage. We're gonna play rock, paper, scissors. And that, no, no the, the, fir kidding. the first two people to lose flip for having to go all the way in the woods. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh. Damn, all right, now I'm gonna coin flip for you two. Wow, that was an easy elimination. Wow. You okay. fail, so means I'm gonna lose. Oh my <laughs> god, it's all the way under the truck. All right, Tails. Tails. Tails, you go in the house. Tails. Heads, you go in the house. All right. Oh, oh, Dylan. Oh, Dylan, oh, Dylan in the woods. Dylan. Dylan. Ah, that's what I'm talking about, everybody. So it looks like um, I'm going to be sleeping on the ley lines. So. Oh, that's an interesting spot. You should have seen the snake I saw over there today. Get the fuck out of here, Chris. You didn't see no snake. It's 30. It ain't no 10 foot long snake in Delaware. Actually, there might be a 10 foot long snake in Delaware. What the fuck? <laughs> All right, anyway, so I guess my, uh, my tent camping spot is gonna be right over here, which, you know, I'm not really I'm not really gonna mind it. Now, if we have a flood, I'm screwed because the water is literally right down there. But on the flip side of this, if I set my tent up right here, I think I got a pretty good shot at not getting haunted. The fuck am I talking about? It's on ley lines. Kidding. Kinda of feeling bad for Dylan right now because he's gonna have to trek deep in those woods to set up his tent. Chris, he's got the ultimate spot, which is inside the house. I don't know how I got the short stick of sleeping on top of ley lines, but I'm actually not sure. If I've already spent the night in the house. I'm good. If I'm talking out loud here, I'm actually pretty comfortable in that spot right there. Well, hopefully you all are gonna enjoy these camping videos, and if not, I'm sorry, you're gonna have to wait till the next one. These are our type of favorite videos to film, especially when there's no snakes, ticks, spiders, creepy crawlies, and um, ghosts, but we, we've, got, we've got ghosts, so uh, yeah, it's not, yeah. It's about 10 foot of us yeah, it's a 10 foot snack, no big deal. Listen, that son of a bitch just froze because last night it was cold. I, hey, listen, I got in the ice bath this morning, it was freezing. So listen, I'm, I'm just saying, if there's a snake out here right now and it's still slithering, it probably deserves to bite me. These thieves in Delaware, they get worse and worse and worse and worse. As you can see right over here, the Japan van is up on jack stands right now. No tires, zero, nada, none, zilch. Alright everybody, we went into town, we got the tires to the van, and now we have to go back into town because we were too excited to put the tires on the van, and we have to go get supplies back in town. So don't ask why we did this the way that we did, but this is all Chris's fault, so I'm just blaming it on him. <laughs> we're going to stop somewhere really quick, I'm just going to try something. Let me roll the window down. We're at one of my favorite places. Maggie's Bridge. Alright, here we go boys, you alright for this? <laughs> Y'all like, what the hell's going on? What are you doing? Maggie, Maggie, I have your baby. Maggie, Maggie, I have your baby. Maggie, Maggie, I have your baby. Here comes the car. Oh gosh, there's a car coming. Get hell out of here. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Let's go. It's Maggie's mom coming in. Yeah. Well, I want to make my sense. Maybe it's Maggie's daughter. No, Maggie's daughter. No, I don't know. I'm That's sure you know Maggie's daughter, I'm sure. No, I don't. <laughs> What tires? Oh no, no! Don't spin out! Don't spin out! Oh, it looks like we're in Vegas. Look at all the lights. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. You got a problem. I'm gonna need your help. What? Hey, well, open your mouth now, just course. <laughs> they see me rolling. <laughs> There it is. Oh god, oh my god, it's gonna hit that car, bro. It's gonna All right, boys, we're going to Walmart. Hey, we're trying to sneak a fucking camera at Walmart. What should we get? Some warm cookies. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Can I get uh, three chocolate chip cookies? You got one pack. Thank you. What's that? You want one pack? Yeah, one pack. Can you heat them up? Excuse me? Can you heat them up for us? One more time. Can you warm them up? Can you warm them up? Alright. Alright, that's it. 
I'm I'm it's honestly like, honestly, not a what? fucking chance I'm eating them cookies. <laughs> I still feel like the headlights are not on. Think Sonny's uh, girlfriend's gonna be here? What's that? Sonny's girlfriend gonna be here? Oh, I wish. Listen, I've only met her once. Oh my Gosh, god. Gosh damn, that sounded beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh, god. Oh wait, there's a park right there. Oh my god. <laughs> what happened to the Chinese place? Oh, this one got shut down, right? Oh, watch out! Whoa, 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 There's watch. a hole over there. Oh, shit. Oh, my. Bro, look at the concrete barrier we almost That's what I'm saying. That's what I was looking for. All right, guys. But before we get into uh, too much of this, we're actually going to go to the house near the very front of the road. And we're basically going to clear it. Because we all want to be able to feel a little bit better and a little bit easy. Because we have actually, um, unfortunately, Unfortunately, we have been having some problems where we actually think that there may be someone that has been squatting inside of that house. So we're going to go take a look because we've never actually done that before. And we've been hearing noises all throughout that part. So um, I think we'll probably just jump in the van, boys, and we'll... Uh, than yeah, but way better than walking. So yeah. Let's go. So you're probably like, CJ, uh, why have you never gone in this house before? And well, to be honest with you, we don't really know any history about it. It's just abandoned. Doesn't mean that's haunted. But I am going to retract that statement now because after you watch these next couple of clips, you're going to realize too that we thought what was a squatter may actually be some severe paranormal activity happening within this house. Let's go ahead and roll that clip. I'm going to go the deer trail way <laughs> because I just feel like that's probably the best and only option but again this place back here like we we really don't know if there's been somebody back here obviously there's spray paint right here on the side of this building but see my thing is this like if there if there's somebody that's coming in and out of here like what the hell was that? What the fuck? What the? F what? Oh my gosh, bro! What the actual fuck? Oh my god, bro! What the fuck? That's a deer. That's a deer. That's a dead deer. Oh. My gosh. I have no idea. That is insane. It's still got its skin. It's like trapped under all these boards and stuff. It looks pretty real. What the hell? Is there anything else like dead around here? That's creepy. Dude, I, I don't even like feel right like looking at that. Oh, poor thing, dude. That's an evil looking shit. Oh man, you can see we got a good roof on top of this place. It's non-existent. I'm actually in the danger zone right now. I'm probably <laughs> ten seconds away from dying. This is nuts. What? You heard whistling? Yeah, just come around on the other side. Oh shit, there's a cinder block right up by the window. There's a bed. Get the fuck out of here. There's a bed. This is weird. This is really weird. So obviously somebody. Somebody's staying in here. Guys. I think there actually might be someone staying in there. 
the hell was that? Yeah. You guys gotta come look in this window. This is so fucking creepy, dude. There's like a cinder block. God, this is weird. I don't know, it's, it's like... Everything stinks, obviously, but... See, look, there's a mattress right there. I mean, the mattress isn't new, but it's not old. What's on it? Got a book? There's books. There's books on it. Here. No way. Hold, hold my camera. Oh, well, who's careful on that, dude? Here. Alright. You guys think I can go in? I... Dude. I mean, there's a mattress in there. I should hold you up, right? This is stupid. This place looks real, real stable. This is stupid. Really, really stable. Well, you've done, you've done Post this things. footage if I die. I'm okay. dead serious. Yeah, no, it's good. I, I, want, it, I want it on Twitter. Oh, Twitter, okay. Yeah, and then put it on YouTube. This is so are you monetizing stupid. Twitter yet? No. This, is this, this could monetize you guys on Twitter. Half collapse it on YouTube. Make like a ridiculousness or something, maybe? The fuck was that? I don't know. What was that? Something <laughs> There's graffiti all over. What the fuck? Let's go quick. That was safe. Actually, I think that that's been there for. They built that house, I think. Yeah, they built this. Yeah, this I think the cinder block is original. Mm -hmm, it is, yeah, yep. it's from day one. That's probably yeah. how I used to sneak in and out of my house. <laughs> and not when I was living with my parents. <laughs> <laughs> so some, some wife's husband wouldn't kick your ass. I pray that this floor. What was that? What the fuck was that? Bro, look it up. Is the floor even out? Look at the floor ahead of you. Look way ahead. Oh yeah, it's 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 like. Can you get whatever's on the mattress? Oh, oh dude, this floor is sponged. Oh, there's a big hole right there. Oh, just it's just magazines. Don't grab it. Don't hurt yourself, dude. This is no joke. What was that? It's not like a bang out front or something. Coincidence that we're possibly on Native American land? No way. What? I'm just saying, like. Oh, I don't think it's a coincidence. I, like, we definitely are. Yeah. Bro, what the hell? Look at this plate. I wouldn't say I'm not following you, dude. Yeah. In my opinion, like if you were if you were trying to hide out or something, this is your spot. You think, bro? This is your spot. It's in the woods. Nobody's coming around. Oh shit! Right on the top floor. Right on. Wait, what are you doing? Ow! Are you fucking with me? Huh? Were you trying to prevent people from coming in and going out? Or? No, I'm going to try to get up in there. Up there? What? Yeah, the stairs are all collapsed over there. Mm. Okay. Do not care, dude. It's not worth it. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? I literally just realized I was walking on. What in the world? What the hell? It's, it's not even wet, though. Look at it. It's raining. That's, but... yeah. that's weird. It's like dry. Oh, that's odd. 
nothing in it, I'm assuming, because it's got a hole in the bottom. No, but why is it here? I don't know. I guess I can get it. Oh, I pray this holds me. Is there a house on top of you, Don? No. Oh, what wait. the fuck? Put your camera up there. Yeah. Yeah. Hang on. Oh, if you lose your flashlight, though. Yeah, if something grabs me right now, I'm, I'm, I'm going to die. <laughs> Drags you in. Oh, I'm trying to, like, hold on. But it's like... Ow! Oh! Did you hit the bone? You're bleeding? It's hard to, like... Let's... Ow! Be oh. careful, bro. You want gloves? All right, let me see the camera. Flip the screen now so you can see. Am I okay? Oh, no, here. How many pull-ups you got in here? Wild. Oh my gosh. Holy shit. What's it looking like? Well, there's like all kinds of stuff left behind. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? What? The fuck? The fuck is that? <laughs> Dude. I swear it's been silent the whole time like someone or something's walking around. It's not like someone banged down like a tree or uh, This is weird dude. No, there's Is there anybody you think like living up there though? Sorry, I'm just taking a picture. Like, oh shit. What? Hang on a second. What? What was that? I think I just like, walked behind me. Huh? Oh, oh my god, dude. Bro, what the fuck? What the fuck what was, was that? that? What the hell is all these noises? Something in the woods right now. Hello? <laughs> careful, careful, careful. So it's like a, it's like a small room. It's obviously a bedroom, right? Yeah. So you're from the bedroom, you go like a hallway. Mm -hmm. It's like, a, from what I can tell, there's like another room that goes like a longer distance to the house. Okay. It's huge. But I don't know what the fuck that noise is, but I don't even know how you can get upstairs. Because it looks like the stairs are collapsed right there. When you tell me, like, look what you just did. If somebody want to get up there, they would do exactly how you just did it. Oh. You're exactly right. I want to try to go look in the other side of this house here. Oh my gosh, what the fuck was that? Did 
looks like a light. Huh? You just what? Back at the farm? Yeah. Rubber street across there. That's that's the farm is over there. It's like a woman's like scream. You didn't hear that? No. I was walking though. Oh my gosh, this this looks safe to enter. Oh gosh. Yeah, dude, there's no way. There's no, oh my gosh. Yeah, dude, you're not getting up to the stairs. Oh shit, bro. The fridge has fallen through the basement. Is it really? Yeah. This is weird, man. The what? Be careful with the floor like that. Oh yeah, the, like the floor is junk. It's gone. There's no way you're getting through that way. The fuck was that? I don't know. I can't get there though. Mm -hmm. Fuck no. Bro, something just either got tossed out that fucking window or from the front of the house. Let's go to the front of the house. That's, 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 that's about fucking odd to me. Did you guys come this way? Yeah. Oh shit, yeah, what is all that shit? Um, I don't know. Alright, now. What? Someone spray painted dead deer on the back of that cabinet. What? I swear to God. No shit, they did. The cabinet's moving, bro. What the hell? How the hell are we gonna spend the night here? <laughs> I was gonna say, like, maybe one of us spends the night up through here. Which way'd y'all go? Right here. I just wanna get that on camera really quick for all of you that may not have been able to see that. It says dead deer. I mean, clearly, that spray paint's been there for quite some time, but. Strange shit, nonetheless. Oh, what is that? Some kind of linen or blanket or something. Oh man, this is a walking trail right here. Like this kind of—I mean, nah, never mind. Yeah, kind of. But then, like, I'm trying to just theorize like what that could actually be, but. It might be a walking trail. Whoa, what, the fuck what the fuck was that? Oh, I'm, I'm See, dude, I told you. When, I like, I, I'm, I'm so glad I didn't fall off the side of the fucking house. What do you guys think? I mean, I think we're pretty good. I, I think, to be honest with you, if, if it was somebody, I'd have seen him. When I was up there, I would have seen him. No, though. What if there's like more areas to hide that you don't know about? They've been in here for God knows how long. It could be, but I, I don't want to freak ourselves out before we start popping tents up. I think tonight, our best option, boys. I'm just like, I'm just thinking out loud here. I think we all pop up our tents like in one area. Just. Get comfortable. Get, get comfortable, get the first night out of the way, get those first night jitters and the bugs worked out, you know, uh -huh. and and then we 
we come back, you know, tomorrow night, or obviously we'll not come back, but we'll stay again tomorrow night, and then we split up at that point. I think that's our safest bet. I hope that you all can appreciate that. Like, this is like a little bit of a level of safety and comfort for us because, I mean, honestly, you all are probably watching from the comfort of your couch, or maybe you're watching from your office, or maybe you're watching from your bed, or maybe you're watching this on an airplane. I don't know. But, man, I don't know. It's definitely off. The whole vibe is off. Like, I think it's paranormal, to be quite honest with you. All right, boys, we're all splitting up. Dylan's headed into the woods. Chris is headed to the bridge. Yep. And I'm headed to the house. So, without further ado, boys, let's meet back up in a couple hours. We'll pop some tents up and uh, maybe even start a bonfire. Maybe we do that tomorrow night. I don't know. But until then, we won't know. All right, that poor little van. We um, we have put it through the ringer. So, <clears throat> as you probably saw, basically, we're going to set up all of our tents over there where the quote unquote ley lines intersect. Again, I wish I could pretend that I'm an expert and I know exactly what that means, but I really don't have a clue. So when it comes to that kind of stuff, like I hope that you all can understand, like I'm still learning just as much as you all are. But one thing that I've found extremely fascinating, not only just about this house, but about the property in itself, I'm gonna take you to a point over here. And this point is actually where I, I personally believe there's like some type of odd residual type of energy. And the expert that basically the expert that came out, he didn't really say much about this place, which what the hell was that? All right, Dylan's way over there. That might be Chris way down there. Then. Okay. Um, it it kind of feels like there's like a very odd, mystique, residual energy. And it's right over here. So <clears throat> whenever that was, that was the trail that when we were investigating around, we actually thought that like maybe someone was coming down this trail here or something at one point in time, but that trail's really not opened up. But right around these plants right here is some odd energy. Like during the day, when you stand right here, almost at the edge of this plant, and you're over here looking at the house, we have seen faces in the windows. And I know you're like, oh, CJ, everybody sees faces. Like, trust me when I say this, everyone like, we're seeing some weird stuff and this is during the daytime. So I had an idea that I just wanted to sit here for a couple of minutes and I'm just going to point my light towards the house and sit here, listen, look, and see if anything pops up. <laughs> this might be a fail. This might be a win. Who knows? Now, mind you, the most common window is the one right there on the right hand side of the house. But like, again, that's also where the stairs are. Um, kind of like you looking into the house, that's where the stairs are. But as you can tell, I mean, sometimes we'll just be like, and the, and the only reason why is this, I actually, this sounds crazy, but we are standing right over here and we are measuring off some of the property lines because I would like to keep the house here, but I would also maybe like to build like a really big shop. And I was thinking, well, what if I just tore down the house and built a shop? I don't think I'm going to do that. And I don't think a lot of you viewers would appreciate that. And that's literally, it's not what I bought this property for. I bought this property to investigate it, to find out it's a freaking mystery y'all. And that's, what's so cool about this place. So, another thing for you all to pay attention in the background of these videos, we have oftentimes, I've had so many people, and, I, and I, I'm going to say we, because me, Dylan, and Chris, we have so many times where a lot of you are like, CJ, that's like, 
that's a person back there in the woods and this and, that and the other. And sometimes I will agree, like there's there's been some very questionable things in the background of our videos that make me just be like, what the actual hell is going on? And one of them was this dirt mound that I'm standing on right here. I was actually um, coming around the side of the house for one of my videos. I think it's like two videos ago. It was me here alone. And I came outside because there was a bang on the window. And when I came around that corner right there, I guess my light pointed this way. And it looked like someone was standing up here on this dirt mound. Now, mind you, this does look like somewhere where you could kind of traipse through the woods if you wanted to. So that's exactly what I'm going to do tonight. A lot of you are thinking that there is someone possibly squatting back here or that there's people that are trying to get to the property. And I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't really know if you can... I don't know if you can gracefully make your way through through this trail here the way that you all think. But again, this is why I'm doing this on camera. I have not done this during the daytime. Gosh, that's a big ass tree. Hello? What is that? Something white right here? All right, that's just a bucket where a tree is, uh, for whatever reason, decided to over, overgrow it. So, So over there is where the marsh is. You can actually see some of the marshy area. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and guess that there's... If there was someone down here, which I don't think there was, clearly there's really no path for them to go down. But, um, you know, if there was, I'd be finding it right about now. Because that, that marshy area is so thick with briars and stuff too. I'm not saying it's impossible, but it's definitely not likely. Definitely not likely. So, I'm going to take you all over to another area. And again, you're like, CJ, why are you just taking us around right now? Well, I think there's uh, some, I think there's some pretty important information in all of this. I just want to show you all some of this wooded area around here. There was, um, there's my tent that doesn't have any poles. So, there was an area in one of the videos, and I'm gonna take you down there to it. There was actually an area right back in here, and this was an area when I was walking this trail. I guess I turned back around in the video, and someone said, CJ, it looks like there's a person standing behind that tree. So again, I, I like to go back and investigate what you all say in the comments, and you know, typically, it's not just one of you that sees this kind of stuff. It's multiple of you that are like, CJ, you missed this or you missed that, so, if y'all don't mind, keep on pushing those comments down there. I do appreciate it, and it helps me out a ton. So something that's got my attention here in the woods that I don't really like to express to all of you on camera is sometimes when I'm walking through the woods, there's so many times where you want to turn around because you feel like you're being watched. You feel like you're being followed. But what you really have to understand is, like, paranoia is going to set in. 98% of the world is scared to go into the woods at night. Now, drop a comment below right now. Let me know if you are scared to go in the woods or not alone at night and i'm not talking about the woods in your backyard i'm talking about drive somewhere get out of your car go in the woods so drop a comment let me know All right, so I'm not sure if the boys are gonna be able to set up their tents or not correctly, but that was actually a little bit harder than it looked just because there was like barely any light and the light, or I take that back, there was a lot of light and it was blinding me as I was doing it. But um, I will tell you this, I think that, I, I don't know, I don't see them two camping tonight for whatever reason. 
I almost feel like I'm gonna be alone camping, but it is what it is. So this is the part that's gonna confuse a lot of you. Dylan and Chris were absolutely terrified. They had experiences of their own. Their links to their channel is down in the description if you wanna go and check out their versions of what was going on. I didn't wanna spoil that for them, but they're telling me all this stuff that was happening around them and they just felt weird and something was off. And it wasn't really more or less like insane paranormal activity, like chairs are not getting tossed across the room or anything crazy like that. But what was happening was that feeling of a heavy presence being known. And that sometimes is just as scary as seeing something move or hearing a noise. I can't really say that I blame the boys. I really wanted to stay, but this was kind of like a preemptive conversation that, hey, listen, like if we don't stay, all three of us are good with it, right? Well, those two were good with it. I really wasn't, but I wasn't gonna be the friend to try to force their hand in staying there at night. So. Hey, all right, so we're out here. It's day two, we had a little bit of fun as you can see. But we're, we're coming down to where the sun is finally starting to set. Things are gonna get a little bit creepier, a little bit creepier. And I think just last night's vibe was off. We can all agree on that, but, um, huh? Yeah, that was way off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, these two were like, It was ah. a rough night. It just felt like one of those nights where you're not supposed to be here. We talk about it all the time. Sometimes nothing happens. Other nights you're just like, I don't think I should be here. That was last night for me. And I'm kind of glad we got thawed. And tonight we're gonna stay. Weirdest, but like kind of like satisfying. Like, cause the last couple times, like I've been here, like it felt so weird, but not a lot is like communicated. All this last night, it was like shit was happening all around me, and it has me worried about what's gonna happen tonight. But it's a little bit warmer, so maybe it's just PP Paranoid. It's cold enough to go. I don't know. He said satisfying. <laughs> it's satisfying. Yeah, it's nothing paranormal, paranormal is satisfying. <laughs> er, wrong answer. Actually, boys, I got the fire lit. I mean, the house is looking like it's the next target. <laughs> I, I might have went a little crazy on the firewood. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna take you all over here to the fire pit and just show you. Um, John actually decided to come and hang out. We're just kind of ripping some pit bikes. The boys got their tent set up. And to make a long story short, tonight is the night that we are officially staying the entire night. It's gonna be crazy. I'm telling you all right now, the challenges, and I, I wanna say challenges, but like the things that we have the things that we want to do tonight are probably some of the most unorthodox type of paranormal investigating you could possibly do, which unorthodox is my entire life. So we're a little worried and I, I can't even lie to you. I'm a little worried too because some of the stuff that I told Dylan and Chris, I was like, hey, I need your all's help for like a little bit of my video because our thing is we're filming three separate videos. Everyone is in three separate different areas at all times. We might come together on some of the video, but for the most part, Last night inside the house here, um, I don't think anybody went in as far as to my knowledge. I didn't even go in, I was just around. But we've um, we've got the cameras obviously in the house. Well the, well, the one main camera that always seems to either fall over or go off or something. Last night at about 3.33, I think it was 3.33 or 3.34. Um, 3.33 definitely sounds better for some weird reason, but I think it was 3.34 the more I think about it. That camera actually went off inside as if something motioned in front of it. Nothing there. Uh, I went in this morning, I checked the camera, everything was good. But one of the creepy things about the last video, and I'm gonna show you all this. Let me put my... All right. So, someone made mention and I'm gonna throw the clip up here, but there is some, that's fucking weird. That is weird. Okay, that's exactly what I saw. Okay, so bear with me for a second, but in that last video, the clip that I just put up here, it, someone said it looked like someone put their cell phone up against the window. That is not the case. I, when I zoomed in on my raw footage, and I'll zoom in for you here too. This is, this is odd. Chris, Dylan! Dylan, Chris, come here. This is weird, how would one of the cards I'm, wait, I'm assuming this is one of the cards. Hang 
a second here. Who's that? So in my last video, okay? Yeah. Can you guys shut those off real quick? Yeah. Okay. In my last video, over at the corner window, I had several people say, CJ, it looks like someone's putting their cell phone up against the window as like they were trying to like record you or something. Yeah. But it was actually this. When I zoomed in on my raw footage, you can see that there's red and white clearly in there. This was in the window seal. Like literally in the video, I, I don't know if you all, I, I mean, obviously we've not picked up on this, but, huh? I mean, I see that part. But. Okay, but like when I went back into the raw footage after reading comments, I, the fuck was that? Yell. That's what I thought. This is weird. Really, really, really weird. But anyway, long story short, the um, there was a card in the window. Like you can tell now that I've that. That was like you got video of that being placed in the window. Yeah, I mean in the video it's like. You just see like a hand or anything? Not really, no. I mean, if it was somebody putting that up there, wow. then you would be able to see their hand. Right. There's no way to hold a card. Well, so I'm trying to like think how There's... you put it up there. Without... Well, think about this. Like if I if if I try to put this, okay, that's not gonna work. There's no way. No, but to just put it. But like it's you gonna have fingers, to... no matter what. Right. You're gonna have fingers somewhere like this or like that or or somehow to put it. In, Unless you're like David Blaine or something. Right. Maybe David Blaine's on the property. Shout out to That's you, man. That's why we can't find him. Well, no, he's in Vegas right now. I know that he's for a fact. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. He's got that residency. Weird. Nine of diamonds. I don't know if this is significant to anyone or if anyone knows anything about nine of diamonds. I mean, I go to casinos a lot and stuff. Hey, but was the number nine, though? Because when I was here, I got six. But upstairs in the attic, there's a blue number nine, like Uno-looking card. There's that number nine sitting here. Okay, what's I've number, not picked nine, up on that. What's a nine upside down? Nine upside down is a six. six yeah, and it said Sixes. that, and I thought like it was there, but like... Evil? What's with the number nine? There's, there's clearly something to this. I'm going to keep this card. And for the record, just so everyone can understand, I'm going to put this in my truck. I'm going to put it in a compartment in my truck. And... Because I don't understand how a card or any cards that would be laying on the floor or a table or anywhere could magically just come outside and put itself up against the glass. Um, it's what I would consider to be paranormal. But I don't know. That's weird. But I'm going to put this card in my truck because there's obviously some significance to this. And what I'm going to do, please don't mind my mess. But I'm going to actually, this is a cool little compartment in my truck that opens up. So I'm going to put this card right here, right in there. For why, I don't really know. But anyway, let's ride some dirt bikes. supposed to be night three of us spending the night at the farm in tents but all of our tents are abandoned we're gonna explain everything in just one second but ten minutes ago I was inside the house Chris and I are getting ready to head out to Catman's grave over in Dagsboro Delaware to go film a video because we're freaked out by the farm we're even more freaked out and don't want to go right now just because of the phone call I just got. We have friends who are local YouTubers around here that were investigating on Burnt Bridge and they are telling us that there is the most insane noises going on inside the farm. It sounds like someone's screaming inside the house, slamming doors, all this stuff. Like I, I wish I could show you. I have chills. So we're going to go there. We're going to see what's going on. Because when I ask them, just as like a personal favor, hey, just you mind just driving back there to see if anyone's back there? Because when we look on our cameras, there's no cars, there's no people, there's no motion whatsoever. 
They said, no, absolutely will not go back there. I think that should tell you all right now that whatever we're dealing with is paranormal. Whatever it is, it's, we're, we're starting to understand and realize for all of you watching this, you may have the same opinion, but like, it doesn't like lights. The less lights you have on, like the more energy it has to like mess with you. And, and I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's evil or the devil himself. I have no idea, but we're at least gonna go check the property. And we're also gonna show you that all of our tents, sleeping bags, air mattresses, everything are still on the property. We have not gone back. Last night, we all truly wanted to stay at the property. But Dylan, absolutely freaked out. That's very unlike him anymore. Chris, absolutely freaked out. Not to mention it was cold, but we just truly did not feel, I didn't feel right staying there alone, but the boys like, I mean, you guys weren't staying. Oh, so no. I wasn't gonna stay. I just, this whole thing's weird. You all, I, I know that you all can appreciate and understand just like what we're doing, but I want you to appreciate and understand like the level in which we are at with everything, especially here tonight and that we experienced in the past two nights. So, oh gosh, like this, this just all is weird to me. Just, it feels off. I don't like it, but it is what it is. Let's go up around here. And so like, um, you can see uh, this is one tent, that's another tent way over there, another tent over there, and we're going to get out and show you a couple of different things. Uh, Dylan made the suggestion that maybe us setting up the tents over here where the ley line area is was probably or maybe a bad idea. I, I may think that he is uh, probably correcting on something there because... As, as I'm going to walk you all around and show you a couple of different things of just stuff that was happening. Like our plan originally was let's get here. Let's all get set up. Let's get our tent set up. Uh, the first night Dylan was like, no, not having it. And the second night then Dylan and Chris were no, not having it. Here we are the third night. But when we were setting up everything, we were, we just felt weird. And then we're like, you know what? We're going to like sit around the campfire and we're going to go into town in the van and we would get back here and the feeling every time that we came back or we regrouped uh, all together, like you just felt like more and more like in a weird way, like depressed. It was just so weird. Like the feeling was so heavy. So, I mean, at the end of the day, I... <laughs> At the end of the day, I, I feel that we made the correct decision on not staying. We're going to show you a couple of reasons why we think that. <clears throat> all right, so we're going to take you all over here to where we set up all of our tents at. So this tent over here, this was Dylan's. That was mine in that far corner near the woods. That right there near the shooting range. That's Chris's tent. We have literally, I mean, I'm just showing you all, like there's literally water bottles still left on the ground right here. Like, I mean, everything, we have literally left everything behind. Sleeping bags, tents, all of that stuff. Um, I guess the first thing that we should do, Chris, is just go clear the house really quick. Huh? What? Well, that's, where, that's where he said that all those noises were coming from. We even left the van out. Um, yeah, that van's never been up outside. That no. That, that van has never <laughs> seen night at all. But um, here it is. So We also, all of our chairs, all of our firewood, everything. I, I mean, we literally just left in like a hurry last night. It was, it was really, really odd. Why is the fucking casket open? Dude, what? Why is the fucking casket open, Fuck Chris? Dude, there's no way. 
can you open the door? I got a flashlight in one hand and a camera in the other. Like, the we, you filmed in here. I haven't been in the house to film. Was it open when you filmed? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure you were the last person to film in the house again. Yeah. So, if your video, it's open, then it was open. I'm shutting the door line, let's just be safe. Yeah, dude, that was not like that. Oh my god. What? Just that one. Oh, that's a big spider. Oh yeah, you're right. There's like a, it's like cock that way. What the fuck? To me, like, you know what this seems like to me? Like, if, gosh, damn, that's a spider web, bro. Wow. Holy shit. Charles Webb. I just, I, I feel that, like, at the end of the day, there's got to be, like, some more shit going on than what meets the eye. Fuck! What the fuck was that? Hello? What the fuck was that? I don't care what anybody says, this place has got weird vibes this weekend. That was weird. That thing that just thing moved. moved. I didn't touch it. Like, I came in. I, I could hear that. I heard it too. I didn't touch it. What the fuck was that? Why is it ripped? I did not do that. I swear to God, I did not do that. Circular stuff that's like burning up there. You see that? Hang on, what up? Would you just say there's circular stuff? Look, it looks like it's burned. There's some burned stuff laying up there. I've never noticed before. And I don't know what it is. Just over the top there. What the hell is that, Chris? I don't know. It looks like more like burned up. I don't want to make any assumptions, but I don't like what I see over right here. What in the fuck? You heard footsteps?
slow. I'm gonna be one of the commenters now. They're not gonna answer you back, Chris. Uh, I mean, not to rid someone was up here, I like to at least know uh, why. is it so much colder up here? It's freezing. It should be warm up here. Excuse me, why the fuck is there a baby doll head all the way across? Uh, that, that, I don't know. I found that last time I was here. I do not know. Okay. Weird. Very, very weird. Why is there clothes? I, how come I've never seen that sock? And whatever the hell that is. I don't remember seeing those either. What the hell is that notebook? You see that notebook? Yeah, what the fuck? Oh, okay, never mind. It's a calendar from 1979. It looks like a notebook here. It does. Okay. This place gets weirder and weirder every time we come here. Yeah. F you, sir. Yeah. Alright, well, I, I'm, I'm just going to say if What the fuck was that, Chris? Bro, that was so fucking loud. What was that? Mm. Mm. Okay. I feel the same way I felt when I was really relative. Something does not feel right. It's the same thing we felt all weekend. Yeah. It does not feel right. At all. Like, I don't, I'm not really sure, like, what, what is, what, is it evil, is it good, is it just trying to get our attention? I really think it's something to do with the doll. Taking the doll out of here. I really do. It has not been the same. Like, no, it, it, you're right, you're right. It's, so, we filmed in this house probably tens of, maybe hundreds of hours somewhere, right? I would say so, yeah. That's a fair. You can't even do 30 minutes right now. Like, I just, I'm good. It's a fair assumption, because... Listen to how quiet it is. Just, we're gonna pause for 10 seconds and I'm gonna look around for you all that are watching this video. I do, there's, there's not. <clears throat> you know when like people say, oh, it's like deafeningly silent, like, it's like deathly silent, like, yeah, so we have a lot of stuff to clean up for all of you watching, but one of the weirdest things that did happen and occur was, is this still over here, Chris? Yeah, it is. Yeah, this was the icing on the cake for us last night, okay? Now, I'm going to run this down for you. <clears throat> that device you see on top of the jack, if you know what that is in ghost hunting, that is called an SB7. Or, yeah, SB7, right? Yep. Yeah. SB7. As you can see, the batteries right here, there's one down in there. The cap to it is right here. The screen is all busted up. It's got debris all over it. This thing here, I know this sounds crazy, and... Trust me, I'd be like, CJ, like you're you're nuts. Like, come on, like this this can't this can't actually be happening. Dylan <clears throat> lost an SB7 here a couple of weeks ago. And that was when we were running through the woods. And he thinks that it was in the middle of the woods. Well, I gotta ask you all a question. That's his SB7 that shows back up here on the jack last night. We check the cameras, and we're going to, you know, is there an image that, like, you actually feel that was, like... Like the ones I took last night? Yeah. I saved? Yeah, I mean, there's a couple that I'm, like, did we capture something paranormal? Because this does not look like you. So, the thing is, last night, <clears throat> we were all determining whether or not we were going to stay here. And during that time, I was on the phone with Chelsea. And... 
that there. Let me zoom in on this. All right, I might have to put a screenshot of that. Okay, I yeah, I'm gonna put a screenshot on the screen right now for everybody, but <clears throat> that image that you see right there, that image is not one of us. It looks like someone was wearing shorts, like odd enough like that someone would be out here. But did we catch an apparition on camera? We're not sure. But that's where you all are going to come into play. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. But if Dylan lost that SP7 in the middle of the woods, how in the hell did it make its way back here onto the jack? Now, why do we have a jack out here? Well, as you can see, there's a dirt bike tire and a pump for air. As we were riding pit bikes the other night and throughout the day, we... Um, we did have a little bit of an incident where we had a flat tire. We and Dylan, I'm gonna throw up a clip really quick of Dylan wrecking the pit bike. So yeah, congratulations, Dylan. Um, <laughs> Y'all don't mind slap a like on that. So Dylan recovered a little bit sooner than he should. But yeah, this this whole entire energy that's out here right now, like I'm, I know it's so hard for you all to understand. Please understand, this energy here is not good. I don't think it is at least. Now. I want to take you all somewhere else and this area over here this tree is actually massive and it is starting to freak us out more and more and more if you walk so last night I was walking around on the phone talking to Chelsea we were going through a couple of things that we have to get done this week and just kind of prioritizing life I'm walking around the tree right here and I hear someone whisper and I turn like this. Now there is a dirt mound right there, some dirt that we pushed back in the woods. It sounded like someone was talking right here, like whispered like. I don't know exactly what they whispered, but you could just tell someone was talking or whispering. So I, I like grab my flashlight, I'm kind of walking over here, I'm looking like this, and the next thing I know, it's right behind me. Boom! Now I'm hearing a whisper literally right up against the tree. So I go back over here to the tree, I know this sounds crazy, I know I sound like a complete nut job right now, but as I get closer to the tree, I'm looking around and I'm like, what in the world exactly is, is going on? So I didn't hear anything else for about 20, 25 seconds. And at this point, Chelsea's like, okay, what are you hearing? What's going on? And as I'm walking around this way here, it looks like there is now a person standing behind that tree right there in the middle. So I'm like, okay, I take my flashlight over here. I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm walking. Now I'm walking to the right of the tree. And the reason why is because I don't want to walk with my back turned towards two whispers that I just heard. So I get right here to the tree. I look around, there's no one, there's nothing. And it is just complete, utter silence, just like it is right now. Now mind you, Chris and Dylan were actually at the campfire, hanging out. So I walk back over to them, I tell them, and at that point they tell me, they're like, look, you know, I'm not staying here. And um, they they just basically told me like, hey, dude, like we don't feel comfortable. We don't think this is right right now. Like there's just something off that is preventing us from camping out. Now, here's my thing. We're gonna take down the tents tomorrow during the daytime. And I'm walking over here to mine. Mine is on top of where we were supposed to dig. We still have not done that because the ground penetrating radar guy flaked on us. But I'm going to ask you all something. And I mean this with sincerity. If you all want us to camp out here all alone, we will do it. We're going to need a little bit of uh, encouragement from all of you fans. If you don't mind if you have not already hit the subscribe button hit the like button on this video comment tell us that you all want us to do this because we're literally putting ourselves at risk just camping out here number one but number two we're putting our own uh you know mental health in jeopardy at this point because we're you just don't feel right being here there's just something about this area now one thing i'm not gonna I'm not going to spoil this, but if you go and watch part of Chris and Dylan's videos, their links are going to be in the description. They actually, they actually caught 
a shadow figure. I believe, I think it might have been Dylan actually. Caught a shadow figure inside of here. And pretty impressive one by the way. Because... What the hell was that Chris? I feel like something bad's about to happen too. Feels so long, man. Yeah. I never not wanted to be here so bad before. Where'd that come from? Where what? A can. A can right there on the ground? Yeah, I don't know. There's like all kinds of stuff I've never seen before the that are just Those boards are not there. showing up. Those what are the fuck are those? Boards. Bro, where did those where the fuck did those come from? Seriously. I, I don't have any clue. What the, what the actual fuck, dude? The one been in here, bro. 100% someone's been in here. Uh, well, we've all walked back there before. Those were not there. No. What is that? I don't know. Bro, I filmed here like a few weeks ago. I filmed here. Like my candle is like, still here. That was not there. Your candle? Like I had a candle here. Oh! What the fuck was that? Bro, we need to fucking go. I'm telling you. Something's not right. What the fuck was that? We literally need to leave. Please. Huh? It's not like I'm walking around with me. Listen. Stop stepping on leaves. Tell me how it's possible to have paranormal activity here and paranormal activity up at that other house. I don't know. It's just nonstop. It's been nonstop. I don't know what is going on, but it's getting worse. It's progressively gotten worse. I'm gonna... God! What, what the fuck was that? Hang on. No, 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 no. Chris! What? Something on the other side of the truck. What? Something's on the other side of the fucking truck. Oh my gosh. Dude, I've never seen anything like that in my life. Bro, we saw somebody last night, remember? Yes. It was behind your truck, it was the same thing. Hundred percent. There's no way. Dude, what is actually happening right now? Could it be like skinwalkers? It, it could, it could be skinwalkers. I've had We keep getting out of the spirit box, skinwalkers are here. John's gotten it too. I'm telling you, guys, we just need to like call it a night. There's no reason to be here. I agree. We need to call it a night. I do agree with that. But I'm just saying, like. It's just so hard to walk away from sometimes, though. Because, like, you just, like. You know if like you keep staying here that you're gonna get more and more and more and more. But like <clears throat> at what at what cost? You know what I mean? At what cost do you continue to stay here and continue to try and film? Get content, but like damn, like wild dude. Wild, wild, wild. I Huh? I I saw a light in the woods. I was trying to I don't think it was me. There's a light over there in the woods. I don't know what it was. In the woods? Yeah, it was over on that side, over like between the trees there. It was kind of close to the, the, your tent. Right there, right there. Close to my tent? Yeah, it was a bright light. Whew. It's so cold out here, y'all. So cold.
definitely talking. Someone's talking? Turn play. What the fuck is that? Listen. What is that? Hey. It's not like a person again. Why do we hear voices all the time? I don't know. It's all the time out here. But that's like the part that like you think you're going crazy, but you're not. If I, have, if I can hear voices with a beanie and a hoodie on, there's something out there. Yeah. 100%. 100%. I just don't think we need to be here. <clears throat> Does not make sense. All right, everybody, listen up. Um, we have done our duties. Clearly, we're not spending the night here tonight. Um, that's out of the question, out of the equation. But what's not out of the question is us coming back one night and, and, and spending the night. And that's where we need... I, I Honestly, you all might hate these spend the night type videos in a tent. I don't know. Truly, if you want to see us do this, you got to let us know. That's what this channel's about, is giving you all the content that you all want, deserve, and need. So, like, comment below, leave a like on this video, show a little bit of love, show a little bit of support like you always do. Uh, and maybe give us some suggestions on some things to do. Maybe you all want us to do a spirit box, or maybe you guys want us to try a new method. Maybe you want us to bring back the uh, Sister Sarita challenge, just stuff like that. Comment below. Let us know. Give us as much information as you possibly can. That's odd. It's non-stop. It's, it's non-stop. It's behind us. It's yeah. here. It's behind us. I'm losing my mind. Dude. I am too. I am. So listen, I know this video did not go as planned. I apologize for that. But guess what? That's life. That's how things go. That's how things roll. We're rolling with the punches here. And, you know, we would like to beat our chest and be, oh, yeah, Mr. Macho and all this kind of stuff. But, like, at the end of the day, like, we do have a legitimate fear of shit we cannot see and things that we are hearing around us and the feeling that we feel, you got to go with your gut sometimes. So without any further ado, I love you all so much. I'll see you on the next video. So you probably heard me say that we're going to do some really unorthodox type of investigating, just some stuff that's really never been done on the internet before. And that is an epic fail. You did not get to see that. But what I'm going to tell you is the very next video that you all are going to watch the very next video that is gonna drop on this channel. It's already been filmed. I'm not gonna spoil it. I could put a little teaser at the end of this video, but even that wouldn't even be fair. I'm telling you all right now, this was one of the wildest camping trips alone ever, ever, ever. So without any further ado, I love y'all so much. Hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to a million. See y'all in the next video.